So how was your day? Uh, it was pretty good. How about you guys? It was good. It was great. Yeah. Did you guys have tests today? <laughs> no, I didn't have a test. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, where do I? Please have a seat. Okay. So where's your friend? Oh, Madeline? I don't know. But she's probably going to come, but be late. <laughs> All right. Okay. We'll wait for her to arrive. Okay. No, you did what? Hey, yeah, I'm sorry. I gotta go. It's this thing. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi. Hi. Please have a seat. Hi, what are your names? Uh, I'm Madeline. I'm Rose. Welcome to this mediation process. We can, uh, we, I hope that this situation can be worked out. The mediation process is voluntary and confidential. Uh, mediators are neutral, so they don't take sides. We are not trying to figure out who's wrong or right. We just want to help you solve this problem. Um, so we will be taking notes, and these will be the notes. We will destroy these notes at the end of this uh, session. So, uh, nurse, you want to describe the entire mediation process? Okay. So how it's going to start out is we are both going to all be in the same room and ask you one at a time your side to the story. After we are through, we will take we will discuss what we just talked about and take one of you into the room and ask you your side. Then we will discuss again and take the other one into the room and discuss. And at the end, we'll all come together and you guys can try to come up with a solution for your problem. The mediation ground rules include no swearing, no name calling, no interrupting, and no fighting and no threatening. So if illegal or life-threatening words are said during this session, then we will report this to the school. The mediation process uh, works best when both sides are truthful, so if you guys uh, have anything you want to say, just please say it in this session. Do you understand these ground rules? Yeah. yeah. And do you agree to follow these ground rules? Are there any further questions that you guys have? No. So which one of you would like to describe your side first? I, I guess I can. Okay. Um, so basically, like, three months ago, maybe, like, um, Madeline started hanging out with this guy, Trevor. And so it was, like, it was fine at first. Like, we'd all hang out together and stuff, but like slowly and slowly she would start being, she would text me and be like, oh, I can't hang out today, and like, she would start lying to me and like saying like, she couldn't hang out because she had to clean her room and stuff like that, but she actually was like, hanging out with Trevor, and I knew that because I would like, look at Snapchat, and there, she would, he would post stuff of her on it, and it was like, why do you have to lie to me about hanging out with him first of all, and then after that, like, she just completely started like, excluding me from everything, and once she started dating Trevor, it just got, like, so much worse. And I, like, felt completely excluded, and I, like, didn't have friends for, like, a few weeks, and it really sucked, so I, like, finally went out, and I was kind of over it, so I just looked for my own new friends and stuff like that, so that's what I've been up to. So, Rose, you're feeling that you're being excluded, and you don't like that, and you've had to find other friends because of this. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Rose, for sharing your story. Would you like to share your story? It's not like I have a choice, do I? Um, Trevor and I have been together for a few weeks, and I get it, you're jealous. Okay, I'm not and jealous of you. don't interrupt. And I feel like part of it is because I have Trevor, he's almost as if a, a replacement for you not ever being there with me. And I'm not lying. The times where I do actually have to clean my room, I do have to. It's not like deliberately make up an excuse. So Madeline, you're feeling that you are making an effort to include Rose, but she's doing things with her other friends anyway? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, both of you. We will now discuss on our own and take you guys out of the room. I think what Rose is trying to say is that she feels like Madeline is kind of excluding her and she's needed to find new friends and Madeline is kind of lying about, I guess, hanging, not wanting to hang out with her and actually hanging out with her boyfriend. Yeah, what Rose said and what Madeline said uh, kind of contradicts each other. Uh, I'm, I was a little confused on where 
how Madeline said that she was actually uh, cleaning her room instead of hanging out with her boyfriend. So we could probably ask more about that. Please explain your side of the story. Okay. So basically, me and Madeline have been best friends for like the past four years now, like since eighth grade. And like, I know who she is. Like, I know the type of girl she is and how amazing she is. And like, and like right now, like this is not her. And I think it's because that she has been hanging out with Trevor. And I think that's why it's been making me so mad and why I went into peer mediation in the first place because. I feel like she's a different person when she's around Trevor, and like I feel like he's a bad influence on her. And yeah. so, what you're saying is, you feel like she should not be hanging out with Trevor as much. Well, I don't want to be so like demanding and saying like she can't hang out with him, but I'm just trying to say that like I don't think that he's a good influence on her, and I care about her so much that I don't want her to get hurt in the future. So what do you feel um, is the major problem that's causing this issue? Probably Trevor and just, um, I don't know, just being not hanging out as much probably. Because when we have, whenever we don't hang out as much, it's kind of like it gets weird and we kind of get annoyed at each other a lot easier. So that's probably the issue. So basically what you're saying is that even when you do hang out with each other, you two aren't kind of making ends meet, and mm -hmm. it's not as easy to talk to her as, as it was before. Exactly, yeah. It's a lot weirder. Would you like to keep any of this story confidential? Uh, no, it's fine. I mean, we were best friends before, so I trust her. Okay. Thank you. Um, we can bring you out and talk to her. Okay. Thank you. explain your side of the story. Yeah, um, Trevor's a great guy and I've been, like I've said, I've been with him for a while and it's, I just don't understand why Rose would, would think that I'm spending too much time with him. I mean, it's not like, it's not like she spends so much time with me either, I mean, so. So you feel that even though you're spending time with Trevor, you also want to spend time with Rose? Yeah, and I guess part of me, the reason why I spent so much time with Trevor I, and, and why I got so close to Trevor so quickly was because he was always there and Rose, Rose she never was and she says that she, has, that she only has me and that I'm her best friend but we both know that she has other friends outside and she's not always with me and she's... So you feel that she should also be there for you more, or you want her to be there for you more? Yeah. During Rose's session, she told us about that she uh, cares about you and respects that you actually go, uh, that you spend time with Trevor because you care about him. So he, so she mainly respects your decision. Rose doesn't care about me. So why do you feel that she doesn't care about you? Our friendship has always been pretty one-sided. I'm always the one that's that's putting in the effort and I think it's just funny that she she thinks that she's the one that is. So what you're saying is you think that you guys might not be having a kind of mutual friendship anymore and you're trying to make the effort to include her and spend time with her but you don't think that she's doing the same? Yeah and that's also the reason why I guess I, I got so close to Trevor and I'm, I, prefer, I prefer to hang out with him more nowadays than Rose. How, how long has this been going on? The problem with me and Rose? Yes. Um, it kind of started this year. She, she got more people started coming to her. She, 
she was, I guess she was more well known than I was. And yeah, she made, she made more friends. Do you feel that before this conflict started, you and Rose were really close and didn't have any of these kinds of problems? Yeah, definitely. Rose mentioned that um, Trevor was a bad influence on you. What are your thoughts about that? How does Rose know that Trevor's a bad influence on me? I mean, she doesn't know him. So you feel that she's making these quick decisions about and assumptions about Trevor and you don't think that that's correct? Yeah, definitely. Is there anything else you want to describe to us about? I don't know. Well, thank you. Um, here are some questions that you can think about while we take you out and we discuss. Um, if you could fill them out as best you can. Thank you. So what are some things that you are willing to do to kind of resolve this issue? I'm willing to invite her to more things when I'm with my friends and include her more because I admit that sometimes I don't include her in all the different activities that I go to because I feel like she's always with Trevor, but I'm definitely willing to text her and tell her this is what we're doing and inviting her over whatever I'm doing so she feels more included. Could, uh, could you be more specific? I could like text her, I could text her and say, hey, we're going to the beach today with all of our friends. You can come along if you want to. And so, and if she comes, that's great. If she doesn't, that's fine too. But as, as long as I show an effort, I feel like she'll really appreciate that too. Thank you. So at the end of your meeting, we gave you this sheet of paper. Um, so the first question was, how would you like to see this problem solved? Um, I'd really appreciate it if Rose can just understand and be understanding about my relationship with Trevor and I just I also want her to know that he's really not a bad guy um, so maybe yeah so how would you like her to kind of see a different side of Trevor that you see um well I wrote here that I'd like for Rose to maybe come and hang out with the two of us more and get to know Trevor more and know him like I know him, so maybe she won't have like these hard feelings against him. And um, I also I also understand where Rose is coming from, where she feels like I do spend too much time with Trevor. And so maybe I want her to also know that I do feel excluded whenever she's out with her other friends because I'm just I'm just not that sociable. I'm a little more shy uh, when it comes to meeting new people. So. I just want her to know that if I don't, it's not her fault. It's just, I just don't want to. <laughs> so, some things that you said you were willing to do to make this conflict be more resolved is kind of invite her along with you and Trevor more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And since I'm, since if I'm asking Rose to make an effort to adapt to my likings and to hanging out with Trevor, then I guess. I can also adapt and just hang out with her friends more and not be as, you know, shy and learn to be more out there. But, because I, I do miss her. I do. I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, maybe we could have some alone time for just the two of us to hang out like it used to be. <laughs> From both of your sessions, uh, I heard that both of you both of you are saying that um, you want to become friends and find a new way to accept each other. Um, I feel that you guys are getting to an agreement, so... Thank you. Thank you. So, how would you guys like to see this problem solved? What are some things that you guys can both do? Um, I will... I'm willing to include you in more activities when I'm with my friends and stuff. Like, I'll, I'll text you and I'll say, like, oh, we can hang out if you want to. Hang out with my friends, too, if you want that. And I'm also willing to um, give Trevor a try because I've only heard those things about him. I admit, like, I haven't actually really talked to him a lot before. So maybe I could be wrong about him. And... I do, I do miss us just hanging out, the two of us too, too, so 
maybe we can have just girls' night, just the two of us every now and then. It can be like the way it was before. Yeah. We want to remind you guys that this case is confidential, and we will rip up the notes uh, that we took. So. And if you guys, do you both agree on what you have said to try to resolve this conflict? Yeah. All right, so can you both sign? Thank you. So we will be having follow-up meetings about this, or just to check up on how both of you are doing. And just a reminder, all of this is confidential, so if someone asks about it, just try to remember that what stays and what we said in here and what you guys said in here will stay in here. And if thank you, you guys aren't comfortable with any part of this meeting, just let us know and then we'll schedule uh, another meeting to help you guys settle this argument. But thank you for trying mediation. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.